For those who may not know, Colonel Tom Parker was the mastermind behind Elva's rise to stardom. Despite their successful partnership, their relationship was fraught with tension, disagreements, and restrictions. Fast forward to August 18, 1977, just two days after Elvis's untimely death. The world gathered to say goodbye to a legend. Imagine the scene at Graceland, fans lining up by the thousands, hearts heavy, eyes tearful. Inside, the close friends and family of Elvis, all dressed in somber suits and dresses to honor the king. And then, there's Colonel Parker sticking out like a sore thumb. Yes, you heard that right. The Colonel decided to show up in a Hawaiian shirt and a baseball cap. When he spotted concert promoter Tom Hewlett in a suit, Parker's advice was to dress down into jeans, claiming, if Elvis looks down and sees the Colonel all dressed up, he's gonna say, what the hell is that? Parker's casual attire wasn't the only thing that caught attention. He actively avoided looking at Elvis' casket, refused to be a pallbearer, and positioned himself far away from the mourning family. Despite this, some say they saw a glimmer of pain in his eyes, suggesting a grief he refused to publicly acknowledge. After Elvis's death, Parker planned to continue managing Elvis's legacy, much like he did when Elvis was drafted into the army, saying, Elvis didn't die. The body did. This changes nothing. A sentiment so bizarre, it led to legal battles against Parker for mismanagement years later. So why did Colonel Tom Parker refuse to dress nicely for Elvis's funeral? Was it a final cryptic message to the world? Or perhaps a strange form of respect for the icon he managed for so many years? But here's the real question I want you to think about, and I mean really ponder. What do you believe was going through Parker's mind that day? So what are your thoughts on this? Sound off in the comments section down below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for celebrity news and updates every day.